Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this uh, written electronic performance evaluation on the employee development and performance plan? Yeah. The performance and development plan form? Mm -hmm. The employee's signature acknowledging receipt of the forms and any comments by the employee? Yeah. Could you get me all the EDPPs and the D in the PDPs? Yes. Of every public employee in each and every state of the United States. <laughs> now, you would think that if it takes a signature of the employee to acknowledge the actual evaluation, yes, that the court should have required a signature to acknowledge receipt of a copy of the order. Now, I'm going to sue, okay, each and every union of the United States, yes, and uh, that requires that the employee sign an acknowledgement, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, a receipt of the forms, yes, and uh, any comments by the employee. Now, a copy of the performance evaluation will be provided to the employee at the time of the review, yes. The original performance evaluation forms, including the employee's comments, will be maintained in the employee's personnel file. <laughs> Employees will be given a copy of their completed evaluation within a reasonable time. <laughs> now, it looks like the language that they use in these employee evaluations, yes, where they have to sign, uh-huh, that they acknowledge and have receipt of the actual evaluation. Oh, mm, seems like similar wordage <laughs> that's used on protection order. <laughs> now, I'm going to go through every signature of every employee of all the public employee unions, yes, and if I find one fucking individual right now, now, uh, a reasonable time, they will be copies of their completed evaluation. Yeah. There's what's known as reasonable notice and the opportunity to be heard. <clears throat> Something that this court did not have in 2011. So, <clears throat> did not give me while I was on trial because you can't issue two protection orders at the same time. <clears throat> did not actually uh, obligate to have happen when you sent it to the wrong address, Heidi. <clears throat> and then you put it in publication and you called me on my personal cell. <clears throat> now, this reasonable notice and the opportunity to be heard, <clears throat> I would say it was harassment for you to call me on my personal phone and ask me to go to the sheriff's department. <laughs> now, if the employees of the public employees union, yes, have to provide a signature, yes, as acknowledging receipt of the actual forms, you would think every court in the United States. Now, I'm telling you, okay, <laughs> I will sue each and every union of this great nation right now. Now, it's fraud. Do you fucking understand? I want you to remove your fraud from the actual judicial system of the United States. Now, I'm going to sue every union in this nation because of their own collective bargaining agreements require that employees have to acknowledge receipt of the forms. Yes. Something that the petitioner was obligated to do. Yes. And then they're having to have reasonable amount of time to get copies of the completed evaluation. <laughs> so when we go through the last 40 years of employees in each and every union of the United States, <laughs> that is represented by a collective bargaining agreement. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this performance evaluation procedure may be grieved. <clears throat> How are the content of the evaluation not subject to the agreement procedure in Article 30? <laughs> Let's say I wanted you to remove your court order mm -hmm, because you did not give me any due process. Poop. The, well, how do I grieve the actual court order when you don't give me? No, 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 no. Now, Sheriff, mm -hmm, I'm going to sue the Treasury of the United States for allowing for you ooch, to continue to receive your income ooch, because you refuse to acknowledge the actual laws of the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, these EDPPs and PDPs, yes, give me every signature right now. <laughs> now, hours of work. Oh, look at this. Employees who are scheduled to work 40 hours per work week. Then there's what's known as 
law enforcement employees. <laughs> employees who work in positions that meet the law enforcement criteria, yes, of Section 7K of the Fair Labor Standards Act, the FLSA. <laughs> Why don't we get that law out and look at the law enforcement that <laughs> that is covered by collective bargaining agreements, every police officer, <laughs> all of those in the FBI, quite possibly, <laughs> Every sheriff in every county. Now, I inform you of a crime and you say, well, I'm on the clock and you're going to pay me for not enforcing the laws. I think that that does actually violate your definition of law enforcement criteria. <clears throat> Now, you might have a badge and a gun, but when you don't enforce the fucking law, then violate the criteria. 